I'm working on a 2005 Nissan Altima with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and I'm going to show you how to replace the serpentine belt tensioner. First of all, of course, you got to take the belt off. You might want to make you a drawing of it so you can remember how the belt uh, goes around the pulleys. There's the crankshaft. This is the AC compressor. This is the alternator. This is the water pump. This is the belt tensioner. And that's the power steering pump. So you might want to make a drawing. Of course, like I said, you need to take the belt off first. And this is the serpentine belt tensioner right here. This black pulley, I've, I've got the new one on already. And I've got my uh, serpentine belt tool, this long handle. And there's a short socket on the end of it. And you need to turn the uh, bolt on the tensioner like you're tightening it. Like I said, the belt's off of it, but I'll pull the tensioner with my tool. And that's how you uh, relieve the tension on the belt to get it off. If you don't have that belt tool, you can do it from underneath with a wrench. I'll show you that in a minute. Also, you might take this uh, air conditioner hose right here, and I've got it wire tied because it, it sits about right in here. It's kind of in your way, so wire tie it over, and that'll give you a little room in there. The uh, top bolt on the... If I can get my flashlight in there. The top bolt's kind of hard to get to. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's got some uh, red paint on the bolt. And you can either get that from the top or the bottom. I used this long handled quarter inch drive ratchet to get to it. Like I said, top or bottom works. And then let's go underneath. Here's the new belt tensioner assembly right here, black pulley. Here's your bottom bolt. There's only two bolts in it. There's your, this gold bolt right there at your bottom bolt. And I can reach up and get to the top bolt uh, from the bottom. Like I said, you can do it either way. It's a little hard to get to. And like I said, uh, if you don't have that belt tool, you can get a wrench on your pulley bolt right here. Like I said, you want to rotate it like you're uh, tightening the bolt relieve the tension on the belt. There's enough room to get a wrench down here. And also when you're putting that on there is a it's kind of dark under here but there's a splash shield that goes right in here right behind the bumper. Uh, if you want to take that off you can get your right arm right up through here and that'll you can hold the tensioner in place as you're installing it. Let me show you one more thing. Here's the old tensioner. It sets about like this on the car. Like I said, there's your top bolt, there's your bottom bolt. When you're uh, removing the tensioner, if you want to, you can take unscrew the bolt, take the pulley off. Now to give you some more room, you can uh, get your hands and fingers up in there a little bit easier. So I guess that's about it. Of course, put your belt back on and you should be done with it. Thanks for watching.